Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I achieved this Sierra inspired hairstyle. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Raven's Wigs and Weave Emporium. So I'm coming to you guys live and crusty right now because I just plopped this wig on my head. I just wanted to see how the color would look against my skin, but obviously it has not been styled at all and it still has the lace on it and everything and i don't have a stitch of makeup on this hair is a lace front wig from wowafrican.com it came in this box just the same box as my last wow african hair my last wow african hair was the big curly blonde afro wig which is actually right here I'm sure you guys remember this hair. I did a video on it and it was kind of short lived because honestly this big poofy hair gets kind of annoying to wear but I did end up getting a lot of compliments on it so maybe I will come back to it later. But yeah, definitely check out my video for that hair if you're interested. I'll put the link down below. But this hair is also from Wild African except with that one I made the wig out of um, some bundles and a closure. I made the wig myself. This wig is actually a lace front wig pre-made and everything. So I just wanted to show you guys exactly what it looks like when it's fresh out of the box. This wig is called the Sierra Ombre. It's Brazilian hair and it is a lace wig. The current length is 12 inches. The hair color is 414 and 613 basically celebrity color um, it has dark roots and then it fades into this strawberry ash blonde um, this lighting is not the best i'll give you a different view and different lighting so you can really see but it has like different types of blonde going through it so it is a lace front wig it's not a full lace wig it gives you a really decent amount of parting space and you know lace that goes around the front to where you can do your natural part and get your natural hairline but towards the back of the wig it does have tracks so let's say if for some reason I wanted to put my hair in pigtails you will probably be able to see the tracks going down the back of the wig but this wig is meant to be worn you know kind of like down and not really like parted all the way through the wig this is my first blonde hair that i've ever got like pre blonde like not trying to bleach it myself because i haven't had the best of luck with bleaching hair and getting the right blonde that i'm really trying to get and i'm going to actually probably cut this wig because it is just kind of like a 12 inch wig just kind of like that and it came with these curls or these waves already in it and so but I think this haircut is kind of just blunt kind of weird if anything I know I at least need to layer it towards the front and just kind of customize it customize the haircut for myself this is the inside of the wig as you can see we have the lace parting space so that's the part and then towards the back of the wig you can see the tracks and then it has a lace at the nape of the neck and a lace at the front hairline going ear to ear so obviously this is the excess lace that I will have to be cutting off when I actually wear the wig and then it just gives you that natural hairline appearance so yeah this is how it looks so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys in more natural lighting the coloring of this wig. It's a very light ash blonde with some strawberry-ish blonde going through. You see it's kind of a little bit pinkish, a little bit strawberry. And then it has the brown roots, but the brown is actually kind of auburnish in a way. Like it's, it's, I don't know how to explain it. Like. It doesn't look like my natural brown hair color and I would almost like for it to be a little bit darker and the way that the ombre goes it kind of is going at an angle right here and I'm looking at a picture of Sierra and her brown comes down a little bit more it comes down to right here and then it's very choppy and very like kind of uneven and very like natural looking I think the roots need to be brought down a little bit more to make it look um, way more natural I guess on me so I do have a box of brown dye and I'm going to kind of darken the roots like put the brown dye over this and also bring it down a little bit around here so it'll be more towards my ear and just kind of match the picture of Sierra a little bit more 
so I'm gonna be customizing the roots of this wig with this cheap dollar store hair dye it's the darkest brown and I'm just gonna follow the directions on the box and use my dye brush to paint it over the pre-existing roots and also extend the roots down a few inches to where it's more towards my ear instead of just being a fully rooted look as you can see I have a picture of Sierra pulled up on my laptop for reference and I'm just trying to copy her hairstyle as much as I can. I'm making sure not to be too blunt and choppy with the dye application. So I combed the dye through for a more ombre effect and this is how it's looking with the dye on my hair. Now while the dye is setting for 30 minutes, I'm going to actually cut the hair. So first I'm just bringing it up to shoulder length like Sierra's hair, and then I'm going to add a few layers. Sometimes it can be hard to cut and dye your own hair when it's actually on your head, so some people do prefer to use a wig head, but I prefer to do it on my head and just use a mirror because that way I know exactly what it's going to look like on me. Right up to true shoulder length. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off of my head and rinse it out in the sink and probably put some conditioner on it. I rinsed and blue dried the hair and as you can see the dark roots go down further now and everything is just a little bit more dark. My color job is not the best. It's a little patchy in some places as you can see but it's pretty good overall and you're not gonna be able to tell after I wave it up, you're really not gonna see those patchy places right there. So I went ahead and put a very loose wave in this wig with my curling iron to go for that Sierra look, but I felt like it was too flat, so I curled it differently. So this is pretty much the finished look. Um, you do have to keep in mind that this is only the second day of me having the wig. When I first got the wig yesterday, I dyed it and I did all that stuff. Today I curled it and I styled it and I threw some makeup on for you guys. You can get kind of a better look of how it would really look because obviously your hair looks better when you look better. So yeah, I did put on a little bit of makeup. I think I can still work with the part a little bit more, put some concealer on it to kind of make it look more natural. But as far as the color goes, I think it's pretty much spot on. It's exactly what I was going for now that I brought the roots down and darkened the roots a little bit. I really don't ever like middle parts on me. I always prefer to have some type of forehead coverage because I do have a tall forehead so especially when I'm wearing a wig or a closure with the middle part I feel like it accentuates my forehead and it might look a little bit unnatural and I just don't like the way that it usually just sits on my head. My head is not meant for a middle part but this hairstyle is meant for a middle part so I'm rocking it and I think it looks okay. I do think it probably would look better on me in a side part but we'll mess with that later. My overall review of this hair is actually amazing. I am amazed at the quality and the texture of this hair. Like I previously said, this hair is very, 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 very soft, extremely tangle-free. I have not experienced any shedding. I have not experienced a single tangle and the hair has remained soft through all the processes that I put it through. It still feels exactly like it felt when I took it out of the box and obviously I have not worn it out yet so I can't really give you my full review on how it would react when you've actually been wearing it outside for a full day but I can just tell by touching this hair that I think it's going to hold up pretty well and it's really good quality. My one complaint about this wig is that it is pretty thin. That's pretty much the reason why I curled it in a tighter curl than Sierra has her hair um, because I needed to add volume and body because it would lay pretty flat if you let it. So I did hairspray it and curl it up to try to make it look thicker than what it is because it is actually pretty flat and pretty thin. If I were to just be wearing it straight, it would be really flat. So I do fluff it up quite a bit to get the look that I'm going for, but I think I need to buy some volumizing hairspray um, to really lift up in the roots area and just give it that body that I'm looking for because this wig is pretty thin. 
but I'm liking the hair so far. This is another one of those wigs where it's way different than my natural hair than the usual hair that I wear. So it does take some getting used to. It does take some playing around with. Usually, just like my other big curly blonde hair, it just takes a few days for me to figure out exactly how I can wear it to where it looks the best. So it obviously doesn't always look perfect in my initial video. But if you guys look on my Instagram after watching this video, you most likely will see pictures of it and it'll look better in the pictures after I've had time to really play around with it. So yeah, that's the hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you were looking to go for this Sierra, almost kind of Beyonce hairstyle, I hope that this was helpful for you. Definitely check out wowafrican.com. They have amazing prices and they have amazing products from what I've seen so far. So I definitely recommend checking it out. All the info will be down below. So yep, just adding this wig to my wig collection. As you can see, I have a lot of them over here right now. And yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.